Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This week's Two Minute Tuesday is about how to properly test holster retention. And quick hint, it's not the shake test. Testing your holster's retention is a really important thing for us to do, but the most common way that I see people doing that is by shaking their holster vigorously to see if the gun will pop out. And I wanna debunk the shake test really quick. The issue with the shake test as an actual test for retention is that often it actually winds up giving us way too much retention. And this is because once we actually take this holster and we put it inside of our waistband, we're actually adding retention to it if we're using a proper belt or something like the Enigma. The holster itself is being pressed up against our body and then added pressure from a belt or something like the Enigma. Another really big issue with the shake test is that a lot of people use it to measure whether or not a holster is actually good. And the problem with that is that really good high quality holsters can fail the shake test. And really poor made holsters can actually pass the shake test, especially if the tester is not being honest and they're holding on and collapsing the holster themselves. So now that we've debunked the shake test, let's get into how we can actually properly test our holster's retention. So naturally we wanna be testing our holster's retention when our holster is where it's going to be when we're carrying. So you don't wanna test it outside of the waistband, shaking it upside down because that doesn't actually give us um, an adequate read on what it's gonna be doing when it's pressed up against our body with a belt. So what we wanna do instead to get an actual adequate read of how our holster's retention is going to perform on the day to day is by actually placing it inside the waistband. I prefer to use a blue gun for this process just because I know that it's completely inert. Um, do what you will, just make sure you're doing so safely. And the way that we wanna test this is by putting it inside of our waistband and doing some activities that maybe would cause the gun to come loose or come out of the holster. Some of those activities could be as simple as doing some burpees or some jumping jacks, getting on a trampoline, doing solo jujitsu wall drills. And if you're up for it, maybe even trying a handstand on the wall or a headstand if you feel like it. The point is to just be testing the holster in the condition that it's actually going to be worn. So in review, we don't wanna be using the shake test to test our holster's retention because the retention is going to change completely once we actually put it inside of our waistband and apply pressure from the belt. Instead, we wanna be testing the holster in the condition that it's actually going to be worn. Thanks for watching today's Two Minute Tuesday. I hope this topic was helpful for you guys and if you're enjoying this new series please hit the like button and please comment below and let me know if there are any topics you'd like me to cover in this two minute series in the future and i'll see you guys in my next video